What future dad will I be? I think this is a very good question to ask yourself as a man. Lately I've been catching myself more and more pondering over this question. I know that I'm only 20 years old and I shouldn't be thinking about parenthood because probably I won't become a dad anytime soon, but I think this question of what dad will I be in the future is more of me asking myself what man I want to become. Because essentially a good dad is a man that has qualities and abilities which are useful to him and his family. Usually a father figure is viewed as somebody with a strong sense of responsibility and the ability to provide and take care of his loved ones. So I think that this thought of what dad will I be in the future can help men not necessarily discover how to answer this question specifically but to learn what being a real man is. So let's all ask ourselves this question and try to figure out how we can become the men we aspire to be. Urban Dictionary accurately describes what a real man is. It's a man that has manners, is honest, can defend his loved ones, has respect for women and is a provider to his family. Also it's a man that is strong both physically and mentally and is never too proud to exhibit strong emotion. He's faithful, doesn't watch porn, helps with housework and is a role model to his children. A real man knows who he is, what he wants and is grateful for what he has. I was actually surprised of how good a definition of a real man this was. All these qualities in my opinion opinion fit well into a father model. We can see these traits in famous historical and still living figures like Marcus Aurelius, Jordan Peterson, David Goggins and so on. All these men provide different knowledge, have overcome different challenges but in the end can all be considered great men that share similar virtues. For these men and others like Jocko Willing, Gary Vaynerchuk, Wim Hof, Ainsel Ganger, Mediavella and so on, I am thankful to be living in the digital age. Because of them I got into self-improvement and took responsibility over my own life. Every single one of them has taught me something. Because of Ainsel Ganger, I was introduced to Stoicism. From Mediavella, I learned about minimalism. From Gary Vaynerchuk, I learned about hard work and patience. In a way, these men are like father figures to me as they guide me to a better life and I think that's what being a real man boils down to, being a role model to others. I think that you become a truly great man when you can be an example to others and I don't mean that in a way that you provide knowledge to a big audience like the men I talked about do. I mean this in a way that you inspire and guide others to a better life. Of course, to become a teacher you have to first learn yourself and that's what I was talking about when I mentioned my male role models. These men prepare me to maybe one day become a man like them so I can give this knowledge combined with my experience to my children. As Socrates once said, employ your time in improving yourself by other men's writings so that you shall come easily by what others have labored hard for. Learning from them gives me opportunities to use these lessons and create my own experience and practical use of their knowledge. For most of us, the biggest example we are going to set for is our children and this is actually a good way to fix your life before you have kids. Try to look at yourself from the perspective of your future son or daughter. Would you like yourself the way you are now? Maybe you are partying way too much or sitting around most of the days procrastinating. How would your kid perceive you seeing you in the place you are right now? Would he or she say, I'm proud of my dad or ashamed? Thinking like this could also be considered a practice of responsibility. Would you want your kid to grow up like you? If not, then there is something you have to fix in your life. That's one of the main reasons why I'm trying to completely quit smoking and drinking alcohol. I want to set an example for my kids that these things are not worth their time. Of course, I don't expect my kids to not try alcohol or smoking uh, like at all in their lives because no matter how much I would preach and say that being sober lets you be more sharp and aware of life, they would still maybe try it because of their friend's influence for example. I will try my best to teach them about these things and the rest is for them to do but setting an example early on can increase my chances of raising my kids right. I'm not an alcoholic and I'm not a smoker but I just sometimes fall into this trap of just drinking maybe a glass of beer or smoking a couple of cigarettes because of the influence from the outside world. It's accepted to use these social drugs and I'm not 
in any way, shape or form shame anybody for using them. My goal is to aim for tranquility of life and one of the obstacles are alcohol and smoking as drinking alcohol makes me less sharp and not aware of my life 100% and I only smoke when I have a compulsion to do it and acting on your urge is not a stoic way to handle temptations. These are my reasons for not wanting to do these activities and I will try my best to teach my kids that there are other way more fulfilling things in life. The other thing that makes me think about being an example is pornography use and masturbation. If I have a son, I'll make sure that when the time is right to talk to him about the dangers of this addiction. My NoFab journey started about two years ago and I've learned a lot in that time and in no way would I want my son to go through this addiction. Of course, he will be curious and there is no way that I can completely shield him from these things but I'll make sure that he knows about the negatives of porn and masturbation addiction and keeps that in mind. I'm actually surprised that the definition of what a real man is describes him as somebody who doesn't watch porn. In today's society when exploring your sexuality by masturbating and watching porn is often encouraged, it's great to see that this, this addiction is getting more and more rec recognized as more often than not a negative thing. To analyze the Urban Dictionary definition of what a real man is further, we can see that the man is supposed to be strong both physically and mentally. Now this is another thing that every man should try to improve daily, his body and mind. Even though we live in a civilized world where physical danger is for the most part not that much of a threat, the strengthening of the body should still be one of the most important priorities. I struggle a lot with this as training every day proves a challenge to me. Not because I'm weak or dread to do the exercises that are hard for me, it's the discipline of starting to exercise that's the hard part. Diet is another thing that I have to keep trying to improve as I can go on a diet but for the most part it's a short term thing that doesn't last very long. To fix my problems with daily exercise and a proper diet I think the priority should be to keep working on my mind. The mind is the most important but in order for the mind to function properly I believe that you need to provide your body with its needed exercise and healthy food as that will fuel the body to live with agreement with the mind. So in my case, I have to figure out and apply ways of how I can fix my mind to view exercise differently and find ways to make myself just start to work out as when I'm in the middle of my workout, I feel great and I don't need any further motivation. In my opinion, traditional masculinity is extremely important nowadays and the question of what future father will I be should be asked more often amongst young people. Physical and mental toughness, the ability to provide for yourself and your family and to also set an example to your children is something every man should strive for but in order for all of us to get there we must ask ourselves this question and take on the responsibility to become the best versions of ourselves that we could be. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it and found it informative or entertaining, please leave a like and subscribe for more weekly self-improvement content. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I'm more active on Instagram so you can follow me there and maybe shoot me a DM uh, to ask any question about self-improvement if you want. And also if you would like to support this channel there's going to be links both to my PayPal and my Patreon down in the description. And of course the social medias are also going to be in the description. Thank you again for watching this video and stay on your journey. Oh,